the Lord is near to all who call on him. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is near to all who call on him. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over all that he has made. The Lord is near to all who call on him. A reading from the letter of Paul to the church in Philippi. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be exalted now as always in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, living is Christ, dying is gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. And I do not know which I prefer. I am hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary for you. Live your life in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke this parable to his disciples. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock, he went out and found others standing around, and he said to them, Why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You also, go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last, and then go into the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now, when the first came, they thought they would receive more. But each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last worked only one hour. You have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last, the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. I don't know about you, but uh, coming up in the family, uh, as kids were sitting around the, uh, the table for dinner, uh, Mom would, uh, she'd bake the pie and she would look at everybody and she'd cut the pie up and she'd give each of every one of us a slice. Or maybe there'd be a bowl of mashed potatoes and she'd spoon them out. And we'd each get a spoonful. And being kids, we would look and say, Hey, Ma, she had a bigger piece than I did. Ma, we got more mashed potatoes than I did. Everything was to be equal. What we didn't know is that was Mom's way of letting us know. But we did what we had been told we were supposed to do. And if we went a little above that, she gave us a little extra, just her way of saying thanks. The Gospel today really is in line with the first reading from the prophet Isaiah. My ways are not your ways, says the Lord. My thoughts are not your thoughts. 
In the Gospel today, we see the landowner is generous. Of course, Jesus is talking about the Father and the Father's generosity. We are all invited to enjoy heaven. We are all invited to live a life that will help us get there. And if at the end of the day we really tried, and maybe we failed for a long time, maybe we were good from the very beginning, it's the same thing. It's heaven. It's the generosity of God. So we're reminded today that my way is not your way. My thoughts are not your thoughts. I am God. I love you all. And because I love you, if I happen to be a little more generous to some than to others. So, my ways are not your ways. I am God. And so today we are invited, and this weekend, to, uh, to think about our own sense of generosity. This is uh, what the uh, Cardinals call Stewardship Sunday. And it's a time for us to, uh, to really uh, consider the talents that we have, the abilities, the gifts that we have. You know, and how we use those gifts for the betterment of our families, how we use them for the betterment of our community in which we live, our parish in which we worship, how we treat one another, how we are able to reach out. We show as best we can. Sometimes it's simply a smile. Sometimes when we didn't have this pandemic, it was a handshake or a pat on the shoulder, a sign of encouragement. You and I are invited to pray about this, to reflect about this, to reflect on the generosity that God has for each and every one of us, and to reflect in the words of the prophet Isaiah, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. And eventually, to trust in the Lord. To trust that the Lord will be with us in our journey of faith. The Lord will be with us in our journey of life. And the Spirit of God will help us to recognize the talents that each and every one of us have and encourage us to use them for the betterment of one another, and not simply ourselves. Together, let us stand and offer our prayer for the new God. For the Pope and all of the bishops, that they may perform their ministry with gentleness and concern for others. We pray to the Lord. May we be thoughtful and responsible stewards in our families, drawing on the gifts and talents of each family member to support one another in our journey of faith together. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For the sick of our parish, especially Cliff Dunlap, Amanda Amelia, and Patricia Larkin, and all those whose names have been entrusted to us, that God may be with them through their journey of faith and life. We pray to the Lord. We pray that each one of us will say yes to active engagement in our parish family. May we draw on the time and talents in our parish family. May we draw on the time and talents of every parishioner to serve the church in loving gratitude for all that has been entrusted to us. We pray to the Lord. For our own special intentions, We pray to the Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we offer you our prayer in faith and hope and trust. Most especially, we offer our prayer in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Just in case I forget to mention that at the end of Mass, uh, we uh, started out the parish bulletin uh, game, uh, a limited uh, edition, shall we say. Because the numbers are down, the number of bulletins are down. Uh, we can't put them out before Mass because uh, uh, if people bring them in to the church, they don't want paper in the church hanging around.
So they're going to be on the uh, table on the way out, uh, and they'll be put out there uh, after communion. I have a volunteer who's uh, very generously uh, agreed to put them out for us, so they'll be on the table on your way out. The bulletin contains the uh, financial report for the uh, January to June segment of uh, this year, plus a few excerpts from uh, Cardinal Collins' a rather excellent letter, actually. On, uh, on stewardship, and the whole letter has been posted on our uh, webpage. Webpage. The whole letter has been posted on our webpage. <coughs> Whatever that is. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given. Human hands have made, and will become for us the bread of life. Again, we say, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become our spiritual root. Please pray, my friends, that our sacrifice, yours and mine, be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty, eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. Therefore we join now with the angels and saints in declaring your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, and on earth our glory. Hosanna in the past. As the city comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. By sending down your spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and <coughs> eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, that your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all who serve you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
the apostles, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. So my friends, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let's offer each other a sign of that peace. Again, uh, for those of you returning to church, uh, we have a protocol for communion. I'll come down and do this section. Center aisle, respecting the uh, markings on the carpet. Return by that aisle, please. This section, center aisle, respecting the markings on the carpet. Return by that aisle. Once that aisle is cleared, I'll come over to this section. Again, come up that aisle and go back by the side aisle.
something beautiful to care. Reminder that the bulletins will be on the uh, table on your way out. Mm -hmm. well, it is out. On your way out. Uh, <clears throat> and again, uh, just a uh, uh, reminder that uh, we're still in this pandemic and uh, apparently numbers are going up not in Durham as much, uh, thank God. So just a reminder to uh, kind of be safe, rather safe than sorry. And uh, the other thing is, again, uh, the financial report is there for the six months. You know, to tell you the answer to the truth, we're not in bad shape the shape we're in. So, uh, and that's because of your generosity. So I want to thank you very much for that. Yeah, we're down a bit, but hey, money's tight. And uh, you're very generous, and I thank you for that. And uh, not a plug or anything, just stating the fact. Still paying the bills, and uh, again, it's your generosity that's helping us do that. So, thank you very much. Um, I knew there was something I was going to forget. So, if we pray and you get out of here quickly, and maybe I won't remember it, let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, thank you very much for being here. The Lord be with you all. Amen. May Almighty God continue to bless us on our journey of faith. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and proclaim the Also, uh, if you're able to help and uh, stay back for a minute or two to uh, help with the uh, wipe and swipe, it would be much appreciated. Mm -hmm.